Pack your darts, we're going to McDonald's. Again. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Did you know that McDonald's has around 34,000 restaurants in 118 countries and territories across the world? That's big, Mac. <laughs> A couple years back, we tasted some McDonald's menu items from around the world, but with that many Mickey D's out there, we say it's high time to taste some more, and this time the foods we're gonna be eating all came from your suggestions. That's right, yeah, we asked you to submit interesting menu items from fast food restaurants in your hometown using hashtag Good Mythical Menu, and a lot of those were McDonald's related, so we're going in again. It's time for Where, Where in the World Do These International McDonald's Menu items, items Come From? Part two. We're gonna be trying menu items from McDonald's all over the world and throwing a dart where we think it's served. And then after we throw our darts, Chase the McCartographer <laughs> will measure how far we are from the right answer. And of course, the person with the lowest score in the end wins. And we'd be told that winner will receive the gift of the first sniff. And we have no idea what that means. Okay, since I lost laugh time. Laugh time, yeah, I, so I thought funny. it was funny. <laughs> Uh, I'll have the special advantage of the saucy McNug dart covered in sauce later on. All right, let's do this. Okay, so is this some sort of breakfast McMuffin thing? Um, is that radishes? Radishes and cottage cheese? And and some sort of uh, radicchio, right, Nicole? Arugula. That's arugula, arugula. I could have told you that. This is a vegetarian thing. I recently discovered that I love cottage cheese. Yeah, how did you recently discover this? I tasted it and I was like, man, I like this. Where's it been? You Little had, berries on top? Why did you wait so long to taste it? Because it's something that grandmas eat, I thought. I thought it was for like fitness moms. First of all, I do want to acknowledge that there is now a note for me on the map <laughs> that says, this is Norway. What did I call that last time, Finland? Did you just acknowledge that Finland exists? There was like a Sweden thing happening. I think I said I the know. country that doesn't exist, Finland, no, that's Sweden or something like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Just throw a dart, man. Where would they do this? I am going totally on the radishes. And I know that sometimes when you're eating at like a Mediterranean restaurant, they'll just throw radishes in like a little thing. Here, you want radishes? I'm gonna go towards the closest to the Middle East that I can find on the map, and that would be Turkey. It's the closest to the Middle East. Okay. But ironically, it's not right, but there's no turkey on this sandwich. <laughs> Woo! Okay, you hit Poland, which concerns me because that could be the right answer. Why does that concern you? Because I don't want you to win. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, have a radish. Okay, don't mind if I do. All right. Let the, hey, let the radish lead you. I think this is Denmark because of the fitness grandmas. There's a lot of fitness grandmas in Denmark. Oh man, I hit the P in Poland, but the word, not the country. Stevie. Okay. This is the McMuffin Tuarozek, submitted by Mythical Beast at Capybarella. This variation of the breakfast McMuffin is made with sweet cottage cheese, salt, pepper, red radish, and arugula. It's a classic take on mom's cooking in Poland. Oh, dang it, you lucky dog! I told wow. you! Sometimes, you know what, I think that was just the radish leading my arm. But we've, we've, we've clustered up on it. So. We've clustered on Poland. All right, Rhett, you had two, and Link, you had nine. Uh, two. Two's less than nine. Shh. Oh, we got a McFlurry. Oh, what is this stuff on top? It's some sort of There's like. There's a blue gelatinous substance in marshmallows. Mm, it's like candy. Oh, I love that, I love that ice cream. What is a candy? All right, I keep getting the advantage of going second, because you got lucky. Okay, now when you look in the top of this, you're like, that's a that's a good time. That's somebody willing to take a risk. Blue, unidentifiable blue thing? That's a risk. Where do they take these kinds of colorful risks with their food? I think we are squarely in the eastern part of the world. So I think that we are in South Korea or Indonesia and I'm not gonna make a bold choice. I'm gonna go right in between them. <laughs> Or oh. Indonesia. But do you know what that blue stuff is? It's good. Emu leg juice? Emu leg juice, no. Ah, oh, man, there's not a lot to go on here. Something's t it's calling me to New Zealand, but that's such a big risk. It's mitigated by the fact that you're over there in Indonesia. You can make a big play, though. I mean, what if it's Guatemala? 
all of a sudden, woo, you've got quite a lead. If I go there, what was a risk with New Zealand is now kind of boring. All right. Where are you going? The Atlantic Ocean. Whoa, really? I have no clue where this thing is from. All right. <laughs> well, I hope it's Canada for your sake. Oh, okay. okay. This is the Bubblegum Squash McFlurry submitted by Mythical Beast at Maya Q. Wright. It's a classic vanilla McFlurry with a delicious swirl of bubblegum syrup and marshmallows. Bubblegum syrup. And it's served in New Zealand. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Why didn't you do yeah! it, man? Why didn't you do it? There's no re- there was no reason for anything. It's just bubblegum syrup. There's that always be a reason for New Zealand's. Ah. Okay, Rhett had 19 and Link had 78. <laughs> <laughs> you want my some of my McFlurry? No! This is a triangle hunk of something. It could be anything. Triangular pieces. Oh, you can make like an arch. You can make an archway. Oh. Whoa! Nacho cheese, cream cheese. With some sort of jalapeno? With a jalapeno. McDonald's makes jalapeno poppers? No, well, it's not real. It, it is like a jalapeno it's popper. It's kind though. of an inverted popper. Man. You want me to tell you what I think it is so that you can get the right answer and then I'll change my mind anyway? I mean, you can do whatever you want to. I'm not gonna listen. Jalapeno poppers. Obviously, it feels like the like intuitive answer is Guatemala, right? Because you've got like jalapeno and cheese and it's fried. And, but would they do this kind of thing in South Korea or Indonesia because again, it's like an experimental kind of thing and they're always reaching out into other parts of the world and bringing in the cuisine. A lot of cheese. I have such a huge lead at this point that it would be a chump play to just go to the middle. Yeah, you've been a lucky dog anyway. Just... I'm gonna go against intu intuition and just go with uh, that second sort of reason I came up with, which is that I think this is from either South Korea or Indonesia. I'm going over there. Whoa, I'm way off. All right, this is my opportunity. My first, here's my thing. My first instinct was Paraguay. But then I started feeling drawn to Can Canada. They like to party too. They do. But nobody likes to party like they do down in Paraguay. And you don't like to really party unless you can pop it. A pop and party in Paraguay. So I'm sticking to my original instincts. You can make up a lot of ground and here. And going with Paraguay. Woo, yeah. All right, Stevie. Okay. Do me right, girl. These are called chili cheese tops, submitted by Mythical Beast at Tobias Toru. These crispy deep fried balls are filled with melted cheddar cheese along with chili and jalapenos, and they're sold at McDonald's in Denmark. Oh, who, who, no one could have guessed that. No one. It's 44 for Rhett and 29 for Link. Mm. Wow, I won that round. All right. <laughs> what is this? Do we have is this some sort of porridge? That's a grit. That's a grit. My... Is it grits? Yeah, my man, so right here we that, got grits. It's like dried up shards of chicken. Is that a tortilla strip? We got fried chicken on top of grits with green onion and tortilla strips. Mm, that's good. That's something they were to do at KFC. I don't think that's grits though. I think it's like cream of wheat. You're right, Link, that's in the wheat family. Wheat. That's not corn, that's wheat. That changes the game. Oh man, so where, where is the wheat? Now, I find myself drawn back to turkey. I'm not gonna think about it too much, I'm just going to turkey. All right, a little on to the right. Um, in the land of South Africa, they like to porridge. How would you know that? I think it's like, it's the British influence. Here we go. I'll take that. I gotta go all the way for the gusto and I'm going for the bullseye! Oh, shooky. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, shooky. I need points if this is cream of wheat. I shouldn't have told you. This McDonald's menu item was submitted by a very special mythical beast and I'm gonna let him tell you about it. Uh, hey guys, it's me, F. Dave and Jen. <laughs> uh, you just had bubur ayam, which literally translates to chicken porridge. It's made with rice porridge, not cream of wheat. Uh, crispy pieces of McDonald's fried chicken, wonton strips, scallions, and crunchy fried onions. It's a favorite comfort food for many, including me, and is found at McDonald's in... South Africa? Indonesia. Well, well, David, if you need this to be comforted, why didn't you let us know? 
you need to be being comforted with this on a weekly basis, I would think, right? Come out here I, and I get will, it, man. I will take the rest of Come that out home, here. though. Get some comfort. Okay. Dang it. It was 22 for Rhett and 36 for Link. Oh, wow. Sorry, Link. Good gosh. Look at the swirl this on that huge. thing. This is huge. Look at the swirl top. Uh, mine doesn't have as much of a swirl top. Where do you get a bun like this that? This is stacked, man. I've got to deconstruct this just to know what's going on. We've got some sort of special sauce, which is Tastes a little off. Uh, we got lettuce, tomato. Uh, bacon, chicken. Bacon, chicken, and cheese, and then. What, what the heck? This is. Is this like a plantain? All right. I think I know what that is, but I'm not gonna say what it is. It's a big old tater. that's shaped like a banana. And then we've got onion on the bottom, and then some more of that sauce. Okay. Um, I gotta figure out what this is, because you're not gonna tell me. Continuing our long-standing one episode tradition of guessing a location that is not on the map. The answer to this final round could be anywhere in the world, except one of the countries that's already listed. But I do have the secret weapon which may do me more harm than good, and that's sauce dipped nuggets. Okay, uh, you know what, Link? I mean, my lead is so extreme at this point, I'm just gonna process out loud here at this point. I believe- That's, a, that's, I, that's bamboo, isn't it? I could be wrong. But I think this is uh, that yucca root. I don't know if that's the name of it, but it is a root vegetable that is enjoyed in certain areas of the world that I seem to remember being in South America. There's so much happening here, but this does feel like a party. I think we're in Brazil because I know that they enjoy like a root vegetable like that. But they do the plantains down there. I don't know, don't overthink it, Brazil. Oh, and I actually hit it for the first time ever. All right, with a taro root like that or whatever it is. That's the word that I was looking for. Then in order for me to have a chance, you have to be wrong and then I have to be very different and also very right. No. And I'm, I'm good at part of that usually. <laughs> but it's not the right part. All right, again, even if I hit around yours, it's not gonna help me. All right, handful of sauce, handful of nuggets. Let's get this over with. So I'm, I gotta go, I gotta go to the east. Go to the east, my son, we'll see you soon. And I wanna go a little north. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried to bring it down, and it just didn't come down far There's enough. splatter all the way, there's splatter all the way into the uh, South Pacific, I think. Okay, this is called the Yucca Al Mojo Burger and it was submitted by at Mary D 1507. This burger is made with Mallorca bread, crispy chicken, bacon, caramelized onions, a garlic and parsley sauce, and yuquitas, which are yuca root fries, and it's served in McDonald's in Puerto Rico. Ah, Puerto Rico! Which is not, not as far south as you were hoping. from Brazil. Yeah, there's no way that you've lost. Yeah, and Rhett, you had 12. Link, you had 17. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, man. Uh... Have some yucca. Yeah, that'll cheer me up. All right. Thank you for making this episode possible. We want to keep seeing those hashtag good mythical menu Let suggestions. Not just from McDonald's. In fact, not from McDonald's because we just did that other restaurants. And yeah. then we'll do it in a future episode. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Yasmin. And I'm Molly. And we're from New Zealand. So we're currently in Prague at the beer spa with unlimited beer. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel of mythicality. Apparently it's limited clothing. <laughs> All right, click the top link to watch us guess the scents of fast food scented candles and Good Mythical More. That's what my first scent prize is. And find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Join the Mythical Society third degree quarterly or annual plan at mythicalsociety.com to get the Rhett and Link on Vacation vinyl release.